my dear friends in jesus christ that god may bless every one of you had to welcome to this grace anointing deliverance and healing service during this time of prayer and word of god and during this time of eucharistic adoration let jesus may do some miracles in your life i know all of you are expecting god's divine interventions in your life maybe you are here with a lot of worries and problems with uh, satanic attacks and influences but just believe in jesus nothing is uh, impossible for the lord luke chapter 137 verse says nothing is their impossible with lord or god so with that faith let us hear all the word of god today what i'm going to tell you today is uh, in the midst of uh, difficulties and troubles turbulences issues how to overcome all these problems actually what we have to do is we have to keep some word of god inside our heart word of god is the most important thing according to st john chapter 6 63 says the word of god is the life and also it's the spirit there is life and spirit in the word of god psalms 119 verse 11 says we have to keep the word of god within your heart if you, if there is word of god inside of your heart then you will not commit sin then evil spirit will not come and attack you that's why Ephesians chapter 6:17 there st paul says take the armor of god the sword the word of god is a sword and you have to take and you have to fight against the demonic powers coming against you now it is we know we are in the battlefield today's world is always in the battlefield between good and evil good and between light and darkness there is always battle in our day to day from morning till evening and till evening morning till morning sure there is a battle against the negative spirits in this world and many are worn and with some are failed because they don't have this weapons of the word of god inside of the heart actually we are fighting against uh, earthly powers principalities of this world with a with a weapon of uh, the word of god and you should keep in your heart this word of god then definitely you will be able to overcome and defeat negative spirits and you can become a, a good child of god like uh, sin but the blessed made blessed word to mary in luke chapter 2 19 and 51 verses there we can see mother mary kept all these things word of god pondering them in her heart and also she says there this saint luke speaks in luke chapter 251 and he went down with them and came to nazareth and was obedient to them and his mother kept all these things in her heart and she was pondering over the word of god and you have to meditate the word of god and keep inside your heart now to chapter 7 21 and 22 says this is says on that day there uh, not not everyone who says to me lord lord shall enter the kingdom of god heaven but he who does the will of my father who is in heaven that means uh, many many prayers and always uses the name lord lord but they don't have the basement of word of god if there is word of god then set any powers will not attack us because the word of god is is it's like a food 
in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says Jesus answered it is written man shall not live by bread alone but they but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god also jesus we know then the demons came in front of jesus and tempted for temptation but he went out the reason is because jesus there is the word of god in jesus christ that's why in st matthew chapter 4 verse 10 says then jesus said to satan go away satan for it is written you shall not you shall worship the lord god the lord your god and him only shall you serve then the devil left him and behold angels came and ministered to him yes there was word of god in jesus christ that is why the satan during that time of temptation he left jesus because he couldn't conquer jesus christ because there was word of god in jesus christ because jesus itself is the word of god st john chapter 114 says word became flesh but there was word of god in jesus that is why the satanic powers could not dominate or control jesus christ of epistle of st john first john chapter 2 words 14 says i write to fathers because you know him who is from the beginning i write to young men because you are strong and the word of god abides in you and you have overcome the evil one you have overcome the evil one the reason is there was the word of god in jesus christ and he was jesus was fighting against negative spirit of this world because the reason there was word of god in jesus christ so always try to read bible and assimilate the bible and keep those words inside of your heart then that will be a shield for you that will rescue and therefore you will be able to destroy the kingdom of the world and that means the satanic kingdom you can you will be able to destroy that if you don't have that word of god then then definitely the demonic powers will overcome our control and dominate you because the word, there is there one more word in st john first john chapter 4 verse 4 says little children you are of god and have overcome them for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world today's problem is the people always hears a lot of things from this world their mind is uh, filled with or their brain intellect is filled with the teachings of this world therefore they are not able to overcome the satanic powers second uh, corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 verse 17 says this says there and you shall not uh, misuse the word of god that means misinterpret or uh, manipulate the word of god because it should be clean and truthful and you should not uh, make your own interpretations but you have to believe those words blindly and study the word of god blindly and keep that word of god inside of you in my life uh, years before in 1995 after having a powerful anointing of the holy spirit i went to read the bible during those days within 15 days by the help of the holy spirit i could study more than 2000 word of god i could keep those words word of god inside of my heart after studying those or keeping those words word of god in my heart or in my brain it was i received with my heart in the heart then after i had seen a lot of miracles take place in my life then this satan powers some people comes with uh, the possession some people comes with their family bondages then i start to pray for them then to place a lot of miracles actually this miracles took place when i kept or started to study the word of god and uh, believe the word of god blindly then i was a theological student i was going through a lot of studies but still there were the church 
explanations and interpretations as i believe that so i obey all the teachings of the church but but some of our prophecies told us yes there is there is a divine power if you believe those words blindly it's like a twisted sword if you keep those words in and side of you they actually you are keeping jesus christ in your heart then definitely a lot of miracles will take place in your life and that's why then after i have seen a lot of miracles taking place in my life not because of my power it's because of the power of the word of god in the book of isaiah prophet isaiah chapter 40 verses 5 onwards and the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the lord has spoken a voice says cry and i said what shall i cry all flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the field the grass withers the flower fades when the breath of the lord blows upon it surely the people is grass the grass withers the flower fades but the word of god word of our god will stand forever yes word of god will stand forever all other our teachings all the teachings of this world will be withered and uh, those flowers will fade so keep the word of god in your heart and believe that word of god the word is coming from god we know the bible all the writings of this bible are actually written by the holy spirit that's why there is grace powerful grace in the word of god so you have to study those words and keep those words in your heart then you will be able to experience god's grace it's written second timothy chapter 3 verses 14 on this but as for you continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus as the sacred writings the word of god gives you life that is why when we when we bind and cast out when we pronounce uh, the word of Matthew chapter 12 28 and 29 the words of uh, deliverance or uh, tying and untying words or binding and casting out it, it makes miracle because we believe the word of god simply not standing standing simply not uh, collecting this word inside of our mind but is blindly believing keeping those words word of god the heart and accept that is a divine word and when writing it to give us power some were sick through their sinful ways and because of their iniquities suffered affliction they lothered any kind of food and they drew near to the gates of death then they cried to the lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction so please my dear friends with due respect you do read bible not only reading the bible and studying like uh, novels like newspapers like your uh, uh, college uh, studies scientific books more than that you have to keep in mind this world of god is is different and very unique it's a revelation it's uh, it's there is life and spirit inside of the world and it is not simply uh, making your life so beautiful but it is it gives you it, it gives you holy spirit it provides you holy spirit therefore you will be able to work for the lord and you in your life you will see a lot of miracles happening in your life in st mark ch- chapter 12 verses 24 says jesus said to them is not this why you are wrong that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of god as there is power in the scripture scripture is written by the holy spirit therefore there is the holy spirit inside of the scripture so who or believes that will experience jesus christ and look chapter 
Luke chapter 1 that is 35 34 to 38 verses there we can see and Mary said to the angel how shall this be since i have no husband and the angel said to her angel is their god is using the angel to give the word of god angel is actually the, the word of god is sending god sending his word and the angel is sharing the word of god with mother mary and mother mary said to the angel how shall this be since i have no husband and the angel said to her the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will or shall it yes, if you believe this word of god then the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born will be called holy the son of god the word of god the written word of god if you believe then that will become son of god and behold your king's woman elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son and this is the sixth month with her who has who was called barren for with god nothing will be impossible and mary said behold i am the handmaid of the lord let it be to me according to your word and the angel departed from her and she received with a full faith why the church always speaks tells the children to be holy because here to accept or to receive the, the word of god you need two things one is humility the other is holiness it's very important if you don't have the humility and holiness you will not obey the word of god and believe the word of god accept the word of god and you will not be able to experience the power of the word of god isaiah chapter 66 verse 2 tells all these things all these things my hand has made and so all these things are mine says the lord but this is the man to whom i will look he that is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word a humility and uh, repentance a contrite heart is very necessary to receive the word of god in matthew chapter 5 7 and 8 god says blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy and blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god blessed are those who are in pure in heart will see god praise the lord so holiness is very must to experience the power of the holy spirit why people don't take the word of god and but people are taking that the teachings of this world people says it is not logical it is not reasonable the word of god is not giving reasoning the, the revelations are sometimes they feel it's an imagination or a hallucination not it's truly true it's really real it's true mother mary received her this word of god with full faith and it became flesh and it became jesus christ and she could incarnate the word of god so keep it though keep though all these things in your mind so during this today's session you are going to experience healing whenever i do the prompting of the holy spirit a prayer for a man with bondage or a person with illness or something they are used the word of god i can see i have seen with my own eyes when i use the word of god with faith with the anointing of the holy spirit now i've seen what i speak it happens whatever i speak it happens in that person or in that place that is not because of my power it's more than that it's the power of the word of god so my dear friends i welcome all of you for this word of god every week i will try to deliver the word of god for you and you will not get anything from me i will be giving all the word of god i'm very sure 
if you believe this word of god accept the word of god and obey the word of god you, you are obeying jesus christ the will of god the son of god was sent by the by our father but father has sent his word through jesus christ and jesus christ is a personified his word of god so if you believe the word of god then you believe in jesus christ then you will see miracles then you will see the works of the holy spirit i'm very sure when i became uh, when i started to study or not study meditate and pondering the word of god then that, that time onwards i could i got a lot of revelations in my life and i see a lot of miracles taking place in my life so god bless you during this time of adoration let god may bless every one of you and you let you make it healing and deliverance god bless you all amen Jesus we love you we praise you we worship you you are the mighty deliverer have mercy upon your children oh lord we cry out for your mercy Jesus shower your grace upon your children dear friends for a while let us worship the lord hallelujah 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 Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus Hallelujah 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 Jesus we love you Jesus we worship you Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah Jesus You are my refuge You are my fortress You are my friend in need And you are my God You are my refuge You are my fortress you are my friend in need and you are my god i will worship you with all of my heart i will seek your face all through my life and i will serve you long We told that I am here I am I will worship you with all of my heart I will seek your face all through my life And I will serve you Lord with all that I am send in this blessed sacrament he is going to bless every one of us now he is pouring out his spirit upon us the spirit of deliverance is coming upon every one of us jesus touch and heal all the families this is many are here with lot of inner wounds and problems illness 
personal problems, family issues. There are a lot of problems with their workplace. Jesus have mercy. When you are suffering with a lot of issues, problems, personal issues, family problems, broken families, relationship problems, Jesus, come to our family, help us all, and deliver us, Jesus. We need your blessing, Jesus. We can't go ahead without you, Jesus. are the brim of a lot of dangers. Have mercy, Jesus. Touch your children. You are my Savior. You are my healer. You are my strength in me. are my savior you are my healer you are my strength in need and you are my god i will worship you with all of my heart i will seek your face all through my life and i will serve you lord with all that i am here i am i will worship you with all of my heart i will seek your face all through my life and i will serve you lord with all that friends now jesus is blessing showering his blessings upon us this is taking away all our wounds and our problems blindly surrender all your problems in front of jesus if you have any kind of personal issues please surrender everything to jesus christ is blessing you God hand always relied on you the psalmist says God I have always relied on you and in the merit of my unwavering trust in you let me never be shamed by my enemies our coming me though I have no other merit rescue me in your righteousness turn your ear Listen to my prayers and save me quickly. Be for me as a rock of strength, as a sturdy fortress to save and protect me. For you are my rock and my fortress. And for the sake of your name, lead me and guide me to safety. Free me from this hidden net that my enemies will. prepared for me to fall into i trust in you because you are the source of my strength jesus i trust in you because you are the source of my strength 
I always deposit and entrust my spirit in your hands, Lord. Because you have redeemed me from troubles in the past. For you, Lord, are the God of truth. And you will surely fulfill your word that I will be king. I hate those who await salvation by relying on diviners or idol worshippers whose guarantees are useless and meaningless and I trust only in God. Dear friends, from the bottom of your heart, say to Jesus, I trust only in God. I trust only in God. Yes, worship Jesus with all your heart, with all your strength. Then you will see a lot of miracles happening in your life. God, I will exult and rejoice in your kindness. I will be grateful that you saw my suffering. You knew and acknowledged the troubles of my soul. Yet you didn't deliver me into the hands of my hands of an enemy. Rather, you made me stand on my feet in a broad place, free from the tight confines of my distress. Please God be gracious to me because I am in distress. Jesus, touch your children. Hallelujah. Let us worship Jesus for a moment. Lift up our hands and praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. We love you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shower your mighty blessings upon Everybody, we love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Worship the Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I bind and cast out all demons, set any powers from everyone, from every place. I command them all to leave the children. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now we are going to receive the blessing of the Eucharist. 